Wait, welcome back, IB Kinemax students, to this video lecture. In this video lecture, we're going to be going over third degree price discrimination, what it is, some explanations and definitions, as well as a graph of, of graphing um, third degree price discrimination. We must be able to understand what their degree price uh, discrimination is in explanation form and definition form, but also in graphic form. You have to uh, be able to um, show the concept in the graph. So what is third um, what is third degree price discrimination? It is defined as when uh, when a firm segregates the market into different uh, PEDs. PEDs, of course, refers to price elasticity of demand uh, and charges different uh, charges the consumers with different prices when the goods are identical. Okay, so this is the definition of third degree price discrimination, that of which is when a firm segments um, the, the market into different groups um, either based on, you know, it could be age, um, based on, it could, it, it could be anything, it could be age, income, um, geography, time, uh, occupation even. Okay, so, 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 so third degree price discrimination could be based on any of these factors. Now, what are some common examples? What are some common examples of third degree price discrimination? Common ex uh, examples. For example, um, businesses, businesses versus domestic con consumers okay so what, what what do i refer what do i mean by domestic versus business consumers for example if you own a printing shop you have a lot higher demand for a good however you're willing for for paper however you're a lot less willing to pay a lot of money for the for the paper okay well well con contrast it with domestic consumers maybe you just need a ring maybe 500 pieces of paper is enough for you for your printing needs however if you own a print shop you need thousands upon thousands of pieces of paper okay so the demand for different um for these two uh, consumer groups are different, and therefore the firms are able to segregate the market, okay, and charge different prices to them. Okay, what are some other examples? Um, the time, okay, time for consuming con con consumers. Uh, this is um uh, for example in Happy Meals, okay, Happy Meals is a prime example of price discrimination for the same good, however, uh, different time periods. Okay, age. Age, of course, is another major example of um, third degree price discrimination. For example, at the movie theaters, okay, Mo uh, um, adults may be charged a fifteen dollars for a movie uh, ticket, while children may only be charged uh, ten dollars or even seven dollars for a movie ticket. So, age is another a uh, very important factor. Geography. Geography is another factor. Okay, so these are all factors that are common examples of price discrimination. So these are the explanations. Now, what does this actually look like when we graph it? What does price discrimination look like in graphic form? Okay. Now, first things first, we have to draw two. Okay, two a uh, distinct uh, two pane diagram. Now, why is that? That is because uh, within third degree price discrimination, there are two market segments, okay, as we have seen. The, the firm segments the market into two PEDs. So there are two. The first one is, of course, uh, um, um, uh, more elastic, and the second one is more inelastic. So, of course, this is price and cost again. Um, I'm going to do the same thing right here as well. And right here, I'm going to do uh, quantity. Okay, so that's quantity. We're gonna copy over there. Now, um, let's let's give the example of a uh, airplane, uh, airplane, or er, er, airplane market. Okay, airplane market. Okay, so airplane market. Of course, what what are some characteristics of an airplane market? Of course, um, the m marginal cost curve is could be um ver uh, horizontal why could the marginal cost curve be horizontal uh for the airplane market now that is because for every additional seat okay for every additional seat that uh airplane has to uh, ha uh has to have the marginal cost is constant okay so that that is why the marginal cost is one horizontal line for this example now we're gonna have two planes the first plane we're gonna have uh it as an elastic an elastic uh, demand. Okay, so this is the first, um, the first uh, market mar market plane. The second market plane is going to be elastic. 
It's going to be elastic demand. That's going to be our second uh, market plane. Okay. So, um, what does inelastic demand look like? Well, uh, well, of course, it is very steep. Okay. It is very, very steep. So, this will be the demand, and this will be the marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is twice as steep as demand, and it can go negative. Okay. So, let us highlight this, make it thicker. So, um, this is the demand, the demand curve. And this is the marginal revenue curve, marginal MR curve. Okay, so this is an elastic demand. Now, what does an elastic demand basically mean? That means price changes does not affect uh, the the quantity demand as much. Now, what 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 um what may be some examples in the airplane market? Airplane market, we could see like business. Okay, business business travelers are a lot less uh, susceptible to uh, price changes. Maybe. Um, business travelers or necessity travelers are, are, are part of the inelastic demand market. However, for elastic demand, okay, the, the, the demand curve is a lot more flat. Why, why, why is that, of course? Why, why does the, um, why is the demand curve a lot more flat for the elastic market? Now, for example, elastic markets could be a tourism, it could be leisure traveling, it could be anything, okay? So that's why the, the, the demand curve is a lot more, uh, is a lot, not is a lot not as steep. Now, once again, the marginal revenue curve is twice as steep as the as the demand curve. So the demand curve is right here. Um, yeah, and 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 the marginal revenue curve is right here. So um, let's say this firm is producing at profit maximization levels. Okay, when marginal curve cost equals marginal revenue, so that would look something like this. Okay, and it is linked back here. This is what it will look like. Now, another thing, when marginal cost equals marginal revenue, it will look something like this. And it will look something like this. Okay. So, what is right off the bat, what do we see? We see that the price level for the elastic demand, okay, is right here. Okay, is right here. However, the price level for inelastic demand is right here. It is, it is a lot higher. Okay, so so for, for a profit maximization firm, they will want to segment uh, or actually segregate the two markets in order to increase their profit, in order to increase their potential to make uh, uh, to make profit. Because if they only have one uh, market, then they will only have one profit maximization. However, they will not be able to be able to segregate the market and have even higher profits. Okay, so this shows uh, how a firm is able to even exceed profit maximization, uh, even exceed the profit maximization point of MC equals MR by segregating the market based on their elasticity. And now, how do we know their elasticity? We can know by based on their age and their income. A perfect example is that in the movie theaters, Younger children, okay, students' children are a lot more elastic, okay, because they have less disposable income. Or adults usually have more disposable income. Therefore, um, they have cheaper prices for students and cheaper prices for children when compared to adults. Adults may pay fifteen dollars, or students may only have to pay ten or seven dollars. So, I hope this video is helpful in explaining third-degree price discrimination. If it is, I hope you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.